Welcome back to the channel, this is Andy Nguyen, and in my infinite wisdom, I decided to do a room tour on the hottest day of the year during a heat wave in Southern California. I know these videos often end up looking like videos where people are just flexing their wealth. I don't want this video to be like that. I want you to take some nuggets of information and tips and tricks as to how I organize my space and the little things, often inexpensive, that I bought to kind of increase the quality of life and the hominess and coziness of your space. Let's get into it. I want to update to you all on the Desk House Apex Pro Max legs and walnut top and how it's been performing after three months. I know it was pretty expensive, but it was well worth it to have an end game desk. I didn't plan on moving again. I freaking love it still. I programmed it minimum height and maximum height. I'll link in the description where I found the video on how to do it. So now I can't go lower than a certain height. And once I increase it, if you can see, up there, that light can actually touch the ceiling. So there's a hard top. In terms of the desktop, I have removed items. I have put the items back on. I've clamped things, unclamped things, changed the monitor mount, and there is no damage to the walnut top. It's been pretty freaking reliable in my opinion. I love it. No scratches, it's very resistant, except I did kind of mess something up. There are some marks on the front, and that's due to the fact that I used to have arms on my chair. And when I would slide in, I would hit it because I wanna get closer to the monitor because I'm getting old and I cannot see and I can't. So I took off the arms of my chair and now we have freedom. Editing Andy here and I know what you're thinking, the cable management below the desk is atrocious. In my defense, I had just taken out my capture card to be able to stream in the garage and then when I put it back, I just dropped it. I kind of forgot about it. Here is proof that I ended up cleaning it after I filmed this. Please cut me some slack. I see the air of my ways. I'll never do it again. The one thing I did change, however, is underneath here there was a crossbar right here i have since removed that and that's because i got thick thighs when this was lowered at the proper height to get the right 90 degree angle unfortunately my legs would keep touching it and i have to like move them out of the way or increase the height of the desk and that didn't work for me so i just removed them and still we have pretty good stability the monitor will still move because i don't know why no matter what I do, I can't get that center monitor to be sturdy. The left one's fine. It's a me problem, okay? So, in terms of desk, I still highly recommend it. I love it. It's done everything that I've wanted. I can connect everything to the same monitors using the inputs. I know this is degenerate. This is, this is gonna be horrible. I literally just taped the dock to the back of the monitor. No cap. Because this is my office and I don't care about internet credit. I just want it to be usable for me. But you may ask, Andy, how often do you stand? Once a week. Sometimes I just get a little bit tired and sleepy. Then I'll raise the desk, stand up, wake myself up. But otherwise, I'm usually sitting. So would I recommend the desk? If you have the budget to get a standing desk and you want an end game desk, I think this is a worthy contender. It's something you will not need to upgrade. So if you already know what kind of like size you want, what kind of material you want, and you know you need something more sturdy, highly recommend the desk house. If you want to buy this, I do have an affiliate link. Please consider using my link and code in the description box below, and I'll be forever grateful. If you remember the video, man, I had nothing in the room. I had no storage. I had no background. I had the Kia Alex drawers, but that was very minimal storage, and it was kind of sitting oddly in the back. So my main thing is I added this, some random thing from Amazon. It was really easy to assemble, but look at it. It's fingerprinting like crazy. The drawers kind of suck at sliding and it's very light. It did have casters. I removed the casters because my main thing is I need this to be below the desk. And I added some rubber bump-ons on the bottom so that it doesn't slide too much. Cool thing about these drawers is one, I have it right next to me so I can grab things at any time. All my streaming stuff is in here. Two, I love this part. I can hide stuff in the back. I have a box for a power strip and that hides most of the cables. You can see it's poorly managed. There's cables, not too bad, but, but I got a new addition right here. This is the Deco 6E. TP-Link sent over a mesh system, allowing me to enter the future. It is a Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. It's like a router and extra units. I personally got the three unit one because streamer privileges, but the two unit XC75 is pretty solid for value. A main unit and an auxiliary unit put it anywhere in the house. I really like this system because one, it works. I was using another router before from one of their competitors, did not have mesh, but one day it literally just turned off and never turned back on, dead in three months. And that thing was $270 for a regular router, it was Wi-Fi 6. 
Here you can get 269 on sale right now, normally 299 MSRP. You get 6E, you get 5.4 gigahertz tri-mesh, and each unit has an ethernet. What's important about having ethernet connection, Andy? Well, one, they're all interchangeable, so that one unit can be connected via ethernet to my main computer, which it has. I also have another connection, ethernet, to my laptop. So I have two hardwired in here. And I had to check the numbers. The hardwire got me 915 megabits per second off of a thousand megabits per second gigabit connection. With the Wi-Fi, with the unit right underneath direct is really close, I got 816 megabits per second. I upload YouTube videos and I need to upload data when I stream. I did not get those speeds with my other router. They're much slower. I was getting somewhere close to 600, 700 at best Wi-Fi. Hardwired, I was getting 800 at best. The one thing I like about these units is they are connected via mesh, right? Only one Wi-Fi network, so I don't have to memorize different network names and passwords and share them and make sure my devices connect to the right one. Right here, I have this TV. It's an old TV. I have another one of those units right here. Deco 6E, right here. Deco 6E. And this TV right here. It really doesn't like Wi-Fi networks. A long day, wanna get on the couch right here, hang out, watch some things on the tube. I didn't mean that. Watch some things on the TV like Netflix. And I have to soft reset my TV to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. With the Deco, I have a hardwire connection right here to the TV and it likes ethernet better. So instead of having to hardwire something from the router out my room into the living room, I could just use ethernet off of the Deco unit and get a solid, reliable connection. And so in terms of speed out here, standing right here, my MacBook actually got around 560 megabits per second download, but it actually got 40 megabits per second upload, which is amazing. So now I can actually stream in the living room. I can go stream in the garage. I'll take it to the garage. I have a third unit. I have another Deco unit out here in the garage. Andy, why would you have a freaking mesh unit out in the garage? Well, it's because I have a home gym and I want to stream here. I actually did this the other night. I didn't even have to hardwire it. I just set my MacBook here, used Wi-Fi, connected a camera to it, and I was able to do a two hour stream, no interruptions, using the network of the TP-Link. It's crazy, it's crazy. So now I can make content in any room in the house. So let's get back to my office. I really like the TP-Link XE75. It's a great value considering my other router is also the same price at 270 or so, and didn't even have mesh. The mesh system, mesh system can actually handle a house of 5,400 square feet. I don't have a house that big because I'm in Southern California and everything's super expensive, but having 2.5 gigahertz ethernet connections anywhere in the house, having 5,400 square foot capacity, I can stream from down the street if I really wanted to. All the speeds I got with the TP-Link Deco XE75 have been great, faster than my other routers. I know there is kind of like diminishing returns, but hey, you pay for the maximum megabits per second, you want to get every megabit per second, right? I had a few questions about the sound of the desk. It. It's pretty quiet. It's not silent, but it does a job. Let's get some light in here. So you may be asking, Andy, where did you put your Alex drawers? My Alex drawers got moved into the closet. So now the 3D printer and the Alex drawers are here. I have a bookshelf hiding all of my other mess on the other side. But this is the clean side. And my storage has just doubled. So getting the drawer down there gave me quick access storage, but I wanted more. So. I was looking for something that was wide. I learned that that thing right there is called a sideboard. I can hide things in here, like my future projects, documents, switches, other keyboards. And I like the fact that it's the same width as the window, or at least able to be centered on the window, so it looks beautiful. Doesn't, doesn't that look great? So more storage. Can you see a theme here? The main focus is that. Those are the IKEA Fialbos, and I have a two stack unit and a one stack unit. And that's where I put my keyboard displays. Now I can get a beautiful background for streaming instead of just a blank wall and a very shorty drawer set, I have that. And between the sideboard and that, it really looks like a cozy space now. There you go. Yeah, Kia Fiabo. I have the links in the description, but they're a little bit more expensive. You can buy these bookshelves on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp. People often buy furniture and then they get bored of it. They want to change the look. They sell it off for cheaper if you want to go through that route. I would have gone that route, but I really wanted to make this video. So I was like, let's just buy something. It matches the aesthetic of the room, which is black and brown. And I love it. And the other thing I added was I need some green in here, right? So we got a plant from Home Depot. 
This is a fiddle leaf fig. Honestly, this thing does not like living in here. It was dropping leaves like no other. So I actually moved it outside where it's been thriving. I brought it back in here to give you a visual illustration of what works well. Fiddle leaf fig adds greenery to the room, especially with the brown, it works really well. The other thing is it helps with sound. You can hear a little bit of the echo in here versus me being outside. Sound reflects off of flat surfaces. So with a plant here, it actually limits the amount of flat surfaces so I don't talk directly into the wall. And the sideboard is a big flat surface, but at least it's different depth from the wall. Bookshelf, or these shelves, ideally I'm gonna have more books on here to kind of limit the reflection of sound back to the microphone. So having more stuff in the room, actually bedrooms are great for this, or you have couches or pillows or rugs like on the floor. All these things help limit the sound reflection off of flat surfaces to give you a cleaner and drier sound so it sounds more pleasant to the ear with less room reverb. That's why I've been trying to add things to the space. Really didn't want to do the Elgato Wave panels, but I'm going to leave those up there for now because I've already bought them. I don't want to fill the room with the Elgato Wave panels because I like the new aesthetic that's a little bit more modern, minimal, and I don't want to have that gamer aesthetic if I can avoid it. So I'm considering putting up more art. Hopefully that limits the hard surface reflections and to see if I can have a manageable sound performance. When I stream, I'm sitting here and the sound performance is usually okay depending on the microphone that I use. And if I'm filming a video like this, I can edit out the reverb. So I'll let you listen to the reverb and then I'll let you listen to the one without the reverb. And then I'll let you listen to the one without the reverb. Hopefully you can tell the difference. And I actually thought long and hard about whether or not I could fit a couch instead of the drawers. And the reality is I can't. My room is only 10 foot by 10 and a half. And with a two and a half foot depth desk, there's no room. There's no room. We went with this setup and just added more storage. I think if you want to focus on one thing of this video, it's that when you're setting up your desk, you're setting up your office, you're setting up your personal space, storage is more important than you may anticipate. Having a dedicated place for things really helps improve your quality of life because there's less clutter, your mind is more clear, and you can stay focused on the things that matter. If you don't have storage, you just throw things off to the side, just get more storage, trust me. At the end of the day, I really love the final room. Like I could add more things and I will slowly, but in terms of like the big items, I think they're all here. The sideboard for the storage, the bookshelf for the aesthetic, and the plant for the greenery, I don't really need anything else. They weren't extremely expensive upgrades, like that was that was like 100 to 200. The bookshelves can be accessible used for like under 100 bucks. Plant was from Home Depot for like 40 bucks. Like those things matter a lot. They have a huge impact. So consider adding those things to your setup. Hopefully this can be useful to your space, your office, your gaming space, your workspace. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about what I bought, why I bought, performance of different things, things about the desk, the mesh system, the drawers. And that's me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.